How do you know an ocean is warm? Well, um, it'll have coral for, for one thing, but you'll see right where it says biome here, it'll say biome Minecraft warm ocean. If you pee it? Oh, wait, it's warm if you pee in it, because, like, when you pee in a pool, don't do that. That's disgusting. Anyway, let me let me go look at this sheet here. Um, yeah, let's, let's look at everything that's available in this version of uh, the game. Welcome back to collecting every block in Minecraft by release order. Today we're covering version 1.13, the update aquatic. This was a major update that overhauled oceans, introducing new ocean sub-biomes, mobs, structures, and of course, blocks. Here's the blocks that we need to collect today, most of them being related to the new oceans, but also some unrelated additions like buttons, trapdoors, and pressure plates receiving different wood variants, logs getting stripped and fully barked additions, and a few various other changes as well. We'll start by making all the logs and making them into their wood, or hypha, types. Starting with jungle, acacia, birch, oak, spruce, and dark oak. Then we need to take each log and strip them. Strip, strip. Stripped, strip, strip, strip. And then get each wood block and strip them too. <laughs> strip, 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 strip. And this is all well and good, but when do we get to the aquatic part of the update aquatic? I don't think you can get it in creative. I think the only way to obtain... Give me a trident bastard. Alright. I got a Nautilus shell. I'm also just littered with tridents around my base. Okay, well, I'm gonna need Nautilus shells anyway. I think that... In fact, it's not even an I think. It's an I know that you can get those from fishing. So I'll probably AFK fish farm tonight and get a bunch of those. I think you need them to make conduits, right? Oh, right! Then we got all the buttons and pressure plates now. Right, all of these different kinds of woods now have buttons and pressure plates in their respective variants. Well, I shouldn't need oak, because I should already have oak from forever ago. But a dark oak, jungle, spruce, and we'll need an acacia and a birch. Right, birch and acacia buttons. I mean, we were all waiting for acacia buttons, man. That's a huge, huge thing. One, two, three, four, five, and then of course we already have oak buttons from, wait, do we already have oak? Yeah, we have oak buttons from forever ago, so we don't need to worry about that. Also, these mushrooms now count for mushroom blocks. Mushroom stems are now a thing, though, so we'll have to grow a giant mushroom to get the stem blocks for these mushrooms. All right, very good. So now, acacia, bleach. Dark oak, spruce, and jungle pressure plates. One, two, three, four, five. We already got an oak pressure plate. Very good. So now we need trap doors. After finishing the trap doors for all the different wood types, we're finally done making all the new wooden blocks. One small thing that we need to work on is getting a purple shulker box, which used to be what the default shulker box is now. But in this version, they gave purple its own shulker box, which is as simple as taking some purple dye and a shulker box. Very good. All right, purple shulker box. And blue ice, right. That's just nine packed ice. I'm really kind of worried that I didn't get enough packed ice, though. I hope I did. Yes, I did. Okay, I was grimacing at the thought of not getting enough packed ice and having to go back and get some more. But no, luckily packed ice is just, or blue ice is just nine packed ice. So that's good. I thought I was going to have to go back and get packed ice. I was like, Ugh, I don't remember where the hell the ice spikes biome was. Now, I have a couple more things that I can do immediately here before having to venture out to the new oceans. I think I should be able to grow a brown <clears throat> and a red mushroom and then harvest the stem blocks from both of those. Grow. Very good. Grow. Very good. I think depending on what mushroom it comes from, it shouldn't matter. I think they'll probably count the same, right? Yeah. Okay, so they're both mushroom stems. Cool. And now I got these giant grotesque mushrooms here. 
More aquatically appropriate, Prismarine and all of its variants get stairs and slabs added in this version as well, leaving me now with nothing more to do but venture out and try to find a warm ocean to get all the new coral and plant life introduced in this update. We also need to make sure that we find pumpkins as well, as the existing pumpkins I have are now carved pumpkins, and unfortunately there's no way to turn them back into regular pumpkins, which are now a whole different block in this version. Or I could cheat and use the pumpkin seeds that I put in my chest forever ago and grow some new ones that way. Should I like fuck off and like just come back to this in a minute? Because this thing ain't growing, man. Dagnal underscore says grow. Didn't work. Which way do we go? So this way is like an infinite ocean that spans tens of thousands of blocks. I'm gonna not go that way. So our choices are this way, this way, or this way. To be honest with you, it's been a long time since I've gone out this way. All right. Are boats good in this version? Oh, they're kind of good in this version. Oh, they're fast at least. Going this direction proved to be a good idea as it doesn't take long to find some weird terrain generation indicating that we're coming up to some newly generated terrain. Dude, this is only like a thousand blocks away from spawn. I really got all this stuff that's relatively new this close by? All right, well, I know I said I hate this, but to be honest with you, I think it's about time. Help. Wow, what? And there's a pirate ship. I am flabbergasted. I think I'm hacking, chat. I think I'm hacking. Buried treasure map so that I can get a conduit. Wow, I think I'm hacking. So here's the breakdown of what we need from the warm ocean. There's five different kinds of coral blocks. Tube, brain, bubble, fire, and horn. Then each of those blocks is a dead variant where you place it out of water and it dies. Meaning we'll need two of each block for a living and dead version of that block. Then each coral has coral itself, a non-solid block attached to the coral blocks. Then that has a dead variant as well, so two more of each of those. And then there's coral fans, which is another non-solid block attached to coral blocks, which are more flower-shaped than coral itself. And surprise, those have dead variants as well, meaning that we need at least two coral fans of each type too. Then we need to grab kelp and seagrass from the ocean, not specifically a warm one, just any old ocean will do. Then some sea pickles, usually found near coral, and finally we'll use that buried treasure map to locate buried treasure to find a heart of the sea which will be used to make a conduit. So I think we're good, right? Very good, we're out of here. That was so easy. Well, first of all, let's put this down and let's grab one of... Uh, considering you can put kelp down, that counts as a block. Yeah, you can put kelp down, right? So we got kelp and we got seagrass. Okay. And then we got brain coral, horn coral, bubble coral, tube coral, and fire coral. Not to be confused with tube coral fans! And of course, all the other different kinds of fans, completely different things, as if it wasn't already obvious. And then we got the fans. So one of each of those. And then, one, two, three, four, five. And then we got the dead bubble and regular bubble, dead horn, regular horn, dead brain, regular brain, dead tube, regular tube, Dead fire, regular fire. Keep opening the wrong chests. Next chest. Horn coral, dead horn coral. Brain, dead brain. There we go. So now... Die. Die. Thank you. Fuck! <laughs> right. Probably gotta silk touch him after that, huh? Alright, die! Die. Thank you. Okay, good. Dead brain coral. Horn, die. Tube, die. Bubble, die. Fire, die. See, I guess it's like a chance every tick that they die, right? Hmm, interesting. Alright. Dead, 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 dead. 
And then the fans now. All right, die, 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 and die. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, and thank you. God, those spray. This is a depressing chest, man. It's only like, it's only three alive blocks in this chest. We're done. We didn't miss anything. Right, we gotta get the buried treasure now, though. We gotta get the buried treasure. Has this pumpkin still not grown? What is wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Legitimately, actually, though, am I doing something wrong? Do you need more light? Like, what is wrong with this thing? One thing I forgot about before we're done with this version is dried kelp blocks, which is as simple as smelting nine kelp in a furnace and crafting them into a block. Now we'll look for where this buried treasure is on the map. Along the way... Pumpkins! Wait! Oh, fuck that pumpkin that I'm trying to grow! Hello! I'll just get these! Oh, so much easier! We're really not even that far away. Oh, okay, we're loading, we're loading it, we're loading it. Okay... All right, well, this is new terrain, so there should be buried treasure here. There should be buried treasure, like, right around here. I always have trouble exactly locating these things, but, uh, should be somewhere around here. There it is! Ooh, and then a heart of the sea. TNT? Ooh. Thank you. Some nice stuff in there. And then break it, because I think if you don't break it, all the treasure maps will point to that chest. So, yeah. After that, I thought we were done, until I was reminded. Now you just need turtles. Fuck! <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I don't see any... Wait, that's a turtle right there! What the hell are we talking about? Hey, little man! Got any eggs? Don't I need to breed them to get eggs? But there's only one turtle. I need two turtles, and then I need to breed them, and then they'll lay eggs. And then the eggs need silk touch. That's fine. I have silk touch. What I don't have is seagrass. What I also don't have is two turtles. So that's kind of problem number one. I think I need two turtles, right? There's not another one, like, out swimming or something, right? All right. Anyway, I guess I'll leave that guy alone because he seems to be maidenless. Ooh, I got two turtles here. I got two turtles here. Okay, 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 okay. Um, they won't attack the turtles, so it's fine to just sit around here. Right, and here's the seagrass. Okay, we gotta be careful, though, because I'm pretty sure zombies will try to stomp the eggs. Zombies will try to stomp the eggs. Boys. Alright, how are they gonna get together there? Dagnal underscore has made the advancement the parrots and the bats. Excellent. <laughs> So, I think now this guy will try to lay the eggs. He's going to have to find, like, a spot to do it. And then after that... Oh. After that, we're going to... Just... Don't look. Don't, don't tell him that... Oh, I feel so bad! I feel so bad! That's so rude! You're just out here breeding them and then taking their offspring. Oh, jeez. That's not very nice. Right, so the turtle egg will go in here. And then I'm going to need nautilus shells to... Oh, right, also pumpkins. Uncarved pumpkins. Which means, fuck this guy. He, he missed his chance, man. He missed his chance. Let's put these pumpkin seeds back. Okay, pumpkin seeds go back. That guy missed his chance, man. He missed his chance. He blew it. He had a chance of the spotlight, and he fucking blew it. Now, I gotta get Nautilus shells to make a conduit with the Heart of the Sea. I mean, what is the best way to get Nautilus shells? Like, do you just get them from fishing? Fishing or killing drowned? I feel like fishing is definitely the better way to do that. Overnight, I AFK fish farmed and got more than enough Nautilus shells to make the last block that I need for this update. The conduit. So there you go. And that's everything in Minecraft 1.13 Update Aquatic. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Next video will feature version 1.14, an update that adds a lot, more than I can list right now. I hope to see you there, and join me on Twitch where I stream the live making of these videos. If you don't have Twitch or you prefer YouTube, then check out my second channel where the full, unedited streams of this series goes. Become a channel member if you want to go the extra mile to support my work, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all for version 1.14.